And in our top business story, the UAE has the highest per capita gold jewelry consumption in the world. And Dubai is ranked among the world's top three trading hubs for gold, diamonds and gemstones. In an effort to further promote the industry and encourage collaboration, the Dubai Multi Commodities Center officially launched the inaugural Middle East Gems and Jewelry Forum earlier today. His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Saeed Al Maktoum, the President of the Department of Civil Aviation and CEO and Chairman of the Emirates Group, inaugurated the event. During his welcome remarks, the DMCC Executive Chairman Ahmed bin Sulaym highlighted the importance of continuous education in the gems and jewellery industry, as well as partnerships between industry participants, ranging from traders to regulators, banks and jewellers, to foster further industry growth in the region and internationally. He also emphasised the strong synergies between the, the jewellery industry and the UA's heritage, trade evolution and growth, with a focus on pearls, gold, diamonds and gemstones. Through this event, he says, participants will learn more about the key trends and challenges, as well as consumer preference in the gemstone market, future dynamics and opportunities for the Middle East jewellery market, as well as sources of, of regional inspiration for jewellery designs. It will also enable new partnerships to be formed that will ultimately benefit the entire jewellery trade. When DMCC was set up, uh, there were comments from people maybe who are a bit ignorant and even people who know the industry always felt that Dubai had no business in the gold, diamonds, uh, uh, for this type of uh, facility. It was too much. You're not a London. You're not an Antwerp. Well, we're actually now in line with them and uh, there are uh, prospects of maybe Dubai even um, uh, beating the usual diamond uh, and gold and, and commodities center. Uh, and in a complementing way, we also see centers replicating what DMCC has put, uh, put in place, whether it be gold refineries being established in, in Singapore. And that's a, that's a huge compliment uh, for us. And it's very important that you do these developments, even before it does make sense. As I stated in my speech, I, um, I stated the uh, quote of Nelson Mandela, where it always seems impossible until it's done. It's about what's, what Dubai has picked up in, uh, in recent times. So uh, it's pearls, car stones, and diamonds, which has, before the MCC's inception, was about $3 million. And today is, uh, is around $35 billion, putting Dubai in the top three diamond centers in the world. On the sidelines of the forum, the DMCC and Dubai Golden Jewelry led the announcement of a new event, dubbed the Super Global Show for the Jewelry Industry. Vincenzo Oro Dubai will take place next year at the Dubai World Trade Center from the 23rd until the 26th of April. The event is a first of its kind. It's a four-day jewelry trade show that is poised to become the future jewelry business spotlight of the Middle East, Africa, Russia, as well as Central and Southeast Asia. Today we were launching a very innovative uh, event. They will call it Vicenza Dubai. As I tell you uh, before, is one of the most important projects we have uh, sharing with our partners in Dubai because Dubai is really becoming the capital of fashion and capital of design. And uh, to be here is very important for us, it's important for the entire pipeline of the global industry because Dubai is becoming uh, the place where the business can grow in a proper way with the safe rules, with their lifestyle environment and even exciting city. 2013, globally, uh, the jewelry sector was not really growing so fast to different economies like India and China were growing, but uh, not fast like in the year before. United States were recovering some position. Europe at the moment uh, do not give us any sign of revitalization. Russia was okay, but um, still is difficult to enter in that market. So I would say that this area, even due to the connection they have, we have here with the former USSR republics, can represent the new channel for distributing jewelry, not only in the Middle East, but even in other countries, key countries.